We should take a power boat down. I can dig that. Wait till the bits of scope. Oh, I'll wait for you for an hour, all right? We will do this, Brucey. See you. Nikki, you're a winner. Let's treat these ladies right, my man. Move out, bro. So what do you... Okay, Nico. Girl A's, let's live it up a little, yeah. Get up the driving range, Nikki. We can laugh at those silver medalists who don't have the cabbage to buy boats. <laughs> Get out, man. Let's just listen to some music. I could hit a ball harder than any of them. Check out these triceps. Head back, Nikki. The ladies in here real grateful, brother.
Hi, uh, Mr. Avid. I, I was expecting you to call me. Becky, you want to go bowling? All right, Nico, we'll go bowling. How about you pick me up in the next hour? I'm on my way. All right, Nico, we're good to go. How you doing? Okay, you know? Sure. Great apart from all the blood and the guilt, eh? Kind of messed up this kind of life, isn't it? Yes. But then what's the alternative? Be a hero with feet of clay or be a drunk and a thug and a killer? But at least you ain't a fucking hypocrite. I don't know. Bury your brother, bury your dad, but at least you can look in the mirror and feel okay? Feel like a man? I saw my brother get killed a long time ago. He was a good friend of Romans, too. We never speak about it. I'm sorry. I knew you could understand that grief. Pain comes easy to the McCreary's. Pain and remorse and doing whatever we can to forget about them. Yes. Maybe we're all hypocrites. All imbeciles. Francis, you know about Francis? He wanted to be a priest. Really? He got thrown out of the seminary for cheating. He tried to cheat God. Can you believe it? So he became a fucking cop. All right, man, we're here. Let's bowl. Bitch, you're crazy! You like to bowl? Yes? You have come to the right place. Choose a lane. That was a good crack, man. Catch you around. Florian, open the door. Nemo Peder. Govor Ingleski. And I told you it's Bernie. Then Bernie, open the door. What's going on? Come in. Come in. The haters are trying to kill me. I can't stand it. I won't stand it. It's not fair. I'm just being me. Bernie, what are you talking about? I came to this country to be myself, to get away from small-minded, angry, macho pricks. Oh, like me. Yes! Well, no. Uh, well, you know what I mean. It was hardly the most progressive place. How does my hair look? Fine. I put a rinse in. Tawdry night. Nice. Bryce found some gray hairs. If he leaves me, I'll kill myself. Forget about your hair, Florian. Bernie. I mean, Bernie. What's the problem? Someone is threatening to kill me. Every time I go out jogging and doing aerobics or playing ultimate disc, some guy comes up and threatens me. He's loco. Why is he threatening you? Because, uh, I think just because I'm fabulous. What? I keep thinking I'm being followed, and I don't know why. I'm a prisoner in my own home. Okay, Bernie, let's go out and have a look. Ooh, I'm so glad you've come back into my life. That's cool. But listen, you and I don't know each other. <gasps> How can you say that? I thought you were different. Because we want this guy to attack you. Come on. The haters are in Middle Park, huh? Nico, you're still in great shape. You work out? Not really. I keep active, you know? Is there a name for that fitness plan? I'd take a class if I could be guaranteed buns like yours. It's called getting chased by the cops and being errand boy for the mob. Ah. Well, 
We're going for a jog, Nico. Try to keep up and stay back, too. We don't want to be rumbled. I'm done with you, homo! Uh, uh, oh. Why don't you pick on someone who'll fight back? What's your problem, fag lover? Whatever you say, buddy. Unfortunately, for hitting my friend, I'm going to kick the shit out of you. or something. You fag lover! Him, Nico. I want him to suffer for every gray hair and worry line. I can't believe that Bryce hasn't ended things already. I'm disgusting. I've gotten fat and ugly, Nico. You should have seen me when I first got here. I knew you before you got here. That was Florian. Oh, Bernie was beautiful when he arrived on the scene. Dancing in Hercules with my shirt off, every eye in the room was on me. I could have had anyone. Now I'm a monster. An old, wrinkly, gray monster. The man we chase is monster, not you. Nico Bellic, that is the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. I think I'm going to cry. Hold back the tears, Florian. Wait until we get this guy. Both of you? I'm not dressed for jail. We need to get out of here.
He's not going to attack you again. No, he ain't. You're an absolute sweetie, Nico Bellic. I never would have thought it. Vidimos il scoro divni coveci. Hey, Nico, let's go. Man, I miss Playboy. Sorry. I mean, you, we did what had to be done, but it's a shame. Sure. I remember when I met him. He was always a bright kid, but he had no street knowledge. He wanted to be in the game, but he didn't know the rules. We was closer than brothers. Things change. Things shouldn't fucking change. Things hurt, man. They hurt. Why are you so cold? I've seen a lot of friends kill each other. You're not so very different. Shit, son, I ain't in no hurry. Okay, fool, let's bow. Hello, my friend. Welcome to Memory Lanes. We have a lane open just for you. Later, man. Good to hang with you. Come on, Bryce. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. But, but, but I'll be thrown in jail. I'm not legal. <clears throat> um, uh, my friend just turned up. I think he can help. I love you. Screw your wife, honey. This is for real. Jesus H, Nico. I need a tranquilizer. Something strong. Oh, man, I am cooked. <laughs> Enjoying your new life in the land of opportunity, Dan? This is no time for jokes, buddy. Ah, uh -uh. no sorry. I'm in real trouble, Nico. Real trouble. Bryce is getting blackmailed. About what? About me! 
Okay, that's not good. Did he find out any information about Darko Brevich yet? No, but he's working on it. You've got to help me. Got to? Huh. How? We're going to warn these bastards off. Come on! Ah. Uh. Go get us a car, sweetie. I want something big and awful and intimidating. All right, hun. The meat is on Walnut Way in Northwood. You know, I don't think I've ever been north of Middle Park. This is exciting! They don't even know what they're in for! No way! Nothing stands in the way of love. Love is strong enough to rip down mountains and throw trucks and all that stuff! Am I right? We're going to show them! Who's blackmailing you? We don't know. They won't even meet us themselves. This is just some flunky they're sending. We have to tell them to tell the boss we won't be pushed around. No way! Where's Bryce? We wanted to speak to him, not his red boys. Listen, you're going to speak to your boss and tell him to back off. <laughs> if that's the way you want to play it, fine. Bryce will be all over Visa News tomorrow morning. You know what? Maybe the best way to get a message to your boss is for me to send him your heart. Yeah, tough guy. How'd you like that? Dmitry Raskolov only asks once. Your lover's career is over. Fucking Dimitri. Come on, Nico, they can't get away. built with his wife. That bitch! She's just in it for the status. She doesn't love Bryce like I do. All she sees in Bryce is meat coats and dinner party invitations. What he and I have is real, you know? You can feel it deep down inside. He may be nasty hypocrite, but he's mine. Now come on! Get them! Come on, Nico! Bernie, I can't concentrate with you talking.
Nico! This is horrible! If all the police in the city weren't on the tape, I might feel sorry for that guy. Get them, honey! until this is over. Hurry the fuck up! Fuck it! Stay here, Bernie. I'm going to handle this. Thank you. All right, the guys are dead. I'll take you back to your place. So we were just meant to scare them? Well, that didn't work out so good, did it? At least they can't tell Dimitri about the meeting or go to the papers. Dimitri is too much of a rat to go to the media himself. The information he has on Bryce is too valuable. You think? It would kill Bryce if he didn't have his career? Maybe he should have thought about that when he started dating you. Not that there's anything wrong with dating you. Your choice is your choice, man. But he should have thought about who he was before getting elected on the family values ticket. He preaches homosexuality as evil. It's insanity. He's a hypocrite, and it was only a matter of time before someone like Dimitri tried to capitalize. Shit. I'll shut up now. You don't need me telling you about your life. I don't normally talk this much. I'm your friend, and I will try to help. Here we are. Look after yourself, yeah? I hope Dimitri and his people back off now. Thank you so much, Nico. I'll speak to you soon. Just makes you look cool. No discussion. Definitely. 